Today, I am going to show you the fastest and easiest way to sharpen your portraits in Photoshop. Hello everyone, my name is Sandy Landa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know, with all these high-end cameras and lenses out there available in the market that produces an image or portrait within extreme details, and with all the camera techniques that you can use to avoid camera shakes, there will still be some time or instances that you have this favorite image that you are very hesitant to use because there is not much details in it. Well, this is the right video for you. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I have a new YouTube video. Before we jump to Photoshop, we have to remember that you need first to finish all the editings and adjustments that needs to be done in your portrait. And also you have to remember that in a certain part of your portrait, the amount of details will also vary depending on the what you wanted to showcase in your picture. For example, you wanted to showcase the clothes of your model. Of course, you have to put enough details on the clothes of your model. If you wanted to showcase the hair of your model, that's the only time that you can put the enough or decent amount of details in the hair of your model. Now, let's jump to Photoshop. Okay, first things first, every time we will edit a picture, always duplicate your background layer. To do that, go to click on your background, press Command J on your, if you're using a Mac, and Control J if you are using a PC. Uh, well, in this portrait, we are going to sharpen or give, provide a, a details on the clothing of the model, on the hair, the facial hair, and the eyebrows and the eyes. Um, that means we, have, we, we will be needing three layers. One layer for the clothing, second layer for the hair, and third layer for the eyes. Let's first duplicate this and rename this as the clothing. Okay, now the next step is we are going to, de to desaturate this layer. To do that, go to Image, um, Adjustments, and then Desaturate. Next, go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. Now, the high pass, this is where the sharpening happened. Um, just double click right here so you would see the difference. Let's go to the eyes. The higher pixels you get, the softer the image will be. So for, it, for this picture, for me, I'll just go for eight pixels and then click on OK. Next step is go to the blending mode and click on overlay. Now, if we will, if we will zoom it in, we will see the difference before and after right here click the eyes right here that's the before it's a bit soft well it's very soft and when you click on the eyes and you will see right here it's very sharp there are so many details in there and then next step is let's just duplicate this again two times so this layer let's rename this as the hair and the top layer let's rename that as the eyes Okay, let's first hide the eyes and the hair because we will first work on the clothing. Now, if we can see, the sharpening is still applied to all of it. So in order to hide that first, we need to mask it out. So to do that, click right here in the masking, click on the white box, and press Command-I or Control-I to hide all the sharpening that we did because we will only need to apply the sharpening on the clothing. Now to do that, um, go to your brush tool right here or press letter B for a brush and then make sure your hardness is all the way down to zero and the size well, it, it's up to you it will the size will depend on the size of your of your picture for me let me for think I, for, I think I, this will do this size will do and then make sure that the color of your palette for your brush is white because when it's this box is bl black, that means the sharpness is hidden, so we need to unhide it, and we need to use a white colored palette, or white colored brush. So now let's apply the sharpening from here. Now if we can see what's happening when we apply the white brush on the cloth. Something like that, and right here. Now for example, like you, applied all the sharpening on the clothes 
let's zoom it in a bit and let's see the before and the after now we have a details next is let's work on the hair click on the hair repeat the process click on the masking press command i or control i press press b for your brush and reduce the size of your brush make sure that your hardness will be still at zero on your hair apply the sharpness sharpening on the hair on the facial hair on the beard mustache you can just adjust the size of your brush depending on the which part of the portrait you are applying the sharpness up now also let's up, uh, sharpen the eyebrows maybe on this one I'll just also include the lips okay that's it again let's see the before and after you can see the details in it now next step let's go to the eyes again the same procedure mask command I or control I press brush tool go to your eyes zoom it in a bit and then brush tool adjust your brush size according to the size of your eyes and then change the opacity and flow I, th I think the 80% will work now change I mean the apply the, the the sharpening on the eyes let's see again the before and after now we have successfully applied the sharpening of your image now let's combine them all together let's group them so we would see the before and after and that's it for today's video and i hope you learned something please do not forget to like this video and share as well and if you have any questions or video suggestions please comment down below i hope to see you in my next video and be safe